So we get to Sutro Tower, and Dave is the spokesman for Sutro Tower, and he leads us to the elevator, which is probably, what, two by three feet? It's tiny. And three of us are supposed to fit in it, and all three of us are crammed. I'm staring at Dave's back. Pull to start, we press up. It's a very slow elevator, super slow. Eight minutes to get to the top. And it, it goes up at an angle where it's leaning towards the tower. And at a certain point, it shifts and you start to lean the other way. Level five. <gasps> what? We're here. Level six. And we get to the top and Dave opens the elevator. And I step out and it's awesome. <gasps> wow! You can see everything. We're as high as Mount Tam, where we, you can see Mount Diablo. Planes are flying by at eye level and the city lays itself out beneath us and you can see downtown and everything's so white and it's pale and it looks so much flatter than I experience it during the day every day. It doesn't look hilly from up there because perspective is playing with you and you're so high up and everything else seems so small. The fog is thick and it's like a blanket and it cuts off beneath us pretty much. Like the fog stops at our stops at the base of Sutro Tower and all the way to one side covering the bay is just this blanket of fog and the other side is totally clear. You can see pretty far beneath you. It's it's a big old drop and I was shocked I wasn't more scared. Yeah, Dave called me the first time and he asked me three times if I was afraid of heights. He was like, are you afraid of heights? And I was like, no, are you afraid of heights? No. Are you sure you're not afraid of heights? And it turns out I wasn't. So that's pretty cool. It's so beautiful, you should be jealous. <laughs> it's really beautiful, you should be jealous. <laughs> uh, Dave kept telling me it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and it really was, but not for Dave. Have you seen Sutro Tower since we went up there? Yes, I have. What did you think? Uh, I think every time I see Sutro Tower, I think I've been on that thing now. <laughs> and I know a lot more about it than most people. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful up there. And I feel really lucky that I got to be on it, especially as someone who's in radio. It's cool to be on something that's a physical embodiment of something that is so ephemeral.